Today's apartment is an absolute treat. Not only is this two bed, two bath in a brand new building, it's got a wraparound terrace, in unit laundry, and all high end finishes. But it's not downtown, it's uptown. Does that matter? I don't know, let's go find out. Here we are at 135th Street. Transportation's not bad. We took this local stop right here. This says the apartment is about a 12 minute walk. And there's a park across the street, the St. Nicholas Park. If you've got a dog, it can take you for a walk. Got some serious street art right here on the side of this building. Ooh, there's a Popeyes. Best chicken sandwich, hands down. But if you eat too much Popeyes like I do when I'm near one, you can stop by this place and extend your lifespan with antioxidants. Do people live longer if they eat here? Seven Graves, the best health food store on the block and the neighborhood's great. Are antioxidants a real thing, or are they a scam? It keeps me looking young, I'm 50. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I hope I look that good when I'm 50. What do we got going on over here? So I'm not sure what this one does, but this one, definitely some sort of taco place. There's a lounge right here on the corner. And next to that one, there's another one, which might be a coffee place. Le Pavillon. I'm not sure I can tell what goes on in here. And since we don't have the internet, none of us will ever find out. Over here's a karate studio. Fight back intelligently with your mind, not any of the stuff they teach here. Against the New World Order, which also has chicken sandwiches apparently, watch out. And look at this, one block from the apartment. You've got a 99 cent store next to a full grocery store. Now you may not think a 99 cent store is exciting, but what could be more exciting than saving money on all the boring stuff you need for your apartment and not having to walk very far to get your groceries. That matters since you probably don't have a car. I think this subway is guilty of false advertising. Double protein. Now, I'm no math whiz, but since cardboard has zero protein, zero times two is still zero. Is that technically okay? There's even an IHOP over here. I feel like there's not enough of these in the city. And every time I've tried to go to one, there was a line, except for today which is a weekday. Do you like seafood? Because if you do, this right here is gonna be your spot. But next to that, there's a little Mexican cafe. Break your habit. I don't know about you, but if I live here, that is about to become my new habit. Right here's the building. Man, it looks awesome. Let's head inside and check it out. Oh boy, this is really cool. We're going right out on the terrace. If you rent this place, you immediately need to get a grill, a hammock, and a whole bunch of tables and chairs. This is awesome. And look at that, it wraps all the way around the apartment. And since this is a corner unit, we can see in two different directions. One flight up, this is the seventh floor, that's the eighth floor. I'd rather have more outdoor space than just that little balcony. Apparently there's a roof deck, let's go see it. Oh, this is gorgeous. You can see in 360 degrees. Right there, you can see all the buildings in Midtown. And then on the other side, you can take a look at Upper Manhattan. Is there traffic on the expressway? You can check. And you can check the line at some of your favorite local restaurants. There's also a fitness center. Weights up to 50 pounds, Pelotons, treadmills, and a medicine ball. Is this for sit-ups? There's also like a meeting room slash rec room down here. You can use these chairs and this monitor to discuss your pyramid scheme and how it will change the lives of the people you bring into it after they bring people into it. To it. it looks like we've also got bike storage. You're gonna have some well-off neighbors. Some of these bikes look pretty expensive. You've also got two elevators. Definitely handy not to have to take the stairs. This mirror will make sure you don't look stupid before you leave for the day. And it'll show you how dumb you look holding a camera. If you have fun watching, hit that thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. I make a bunch of apartment tours just like this every single week. There's the front door and after this little hallway, you pass the kitchen and walk into the living room. 
This is a ton of space, 21 feet by 14 feet, six inches. I'd put the couch here facing that way. On the other side of that, I would put my entertainment center, which would end up over here. And then against that wall, across from the kitchen, I would put a dining table. Although there's this breakfast bar, which would definitely fit a bunch of stools. I just don't know if you're allowed to eat dinner at a breakfast bar. Something about that doesn't line up. Over here's a closet, which has your washer dryer combo. And right over here, you could set up a little Shrine. Although this one's kind of small, if you don't want to risk the wrath of your god, maybe put the shrine over here by the bigger window. The kitchen's gorgeous. You've got a full-size fridge, high-end oven, high-end microwave. Of course, there's a dishwasher. And best of all, there's a sink sprayer. Counter space here is also fantastic. And right over here, that's the perfect spot for appliances you don't use. Blenders, bread makers, potato peelers. We buy them or get them as gifts. Mom, for Christmas, please do not send me another bread maker. Cabinet space here is also really good. No space has gone to waste. I can't close it without jumping. That was close. Thank God I'm in the NBA. Across from the kitchen, you've got the bedrooms. And this first room looks pretty cool, but I think this is the smaller of the two. It measures nine feet, nine inches by nine feet, six inches. It'll fit a queen over here by the window. If the bed goes here, this corner can be for storage. Closets are a small desk. Next to this is the closet, which is pretty good. I've been keeping my stuff in there. Definitely usable. This controls the temperature for this room, and that's good. If you're paying rent, here at least it's the temperature you want not the temperature the landlord heats the entire building to you can control it yourself the view here is overlooking the terrace as long as your roommate doesn't walk around naked that's nothing to be upset about now bedroom number two is definitely the larger of the two rooms and it's got its own door i think you could rent this out to some of your cheap friends if they want to sleep under the stars this room's a little bigger 11 feet 7 inches by 11 feet 5 inches but check this out right over here You've got your own bathroom. You've got two sinks. And above these sinks, you've got two mirrors. Are they both medicine cabinets? I have to be careful. Doesn't look like it. I'm not gonna pull that. But each sink has plenty of storage space underneath it. And you also get a hand towel holder. It's surprising how many apartments don't have that. The bathtub is awesome. Easy to get in. Plus you've got the glass, so you don't need a nasty shower curtain from Amazon. Now, if you're using the first room as your bedroom, your bathroom is actually right over here, just on the other side of this door. This looks pretty much the same. And both of these are absolutely gorgeous. I'm so glad they went with a nice design. So many luxury apartments, cheap out on the bathroom, but in this place, that did not happen. Huge shout out to the listing team at Corcoran for letting us check out this amazing two bed, two bath. Check out the link below if you've got questions and then pick in another, another apartment tour right here. And I'll see you in the next video.